we've all seen it on a map, you can't miss it. Lake Winnebago is the largest inland lake in all of Wisconsin. And today we're exploring the three counties that surround that lake. So start your engines and your campfires as we welcome you to these endless shores on Discover Wisconsin. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Our first stop on our three county tour is Oshkosh, home to EAA AirVentures annual air show and fly-in. Oshkosh is no stranger to a good time and it's the perfect place to start getting acquainted with the area. The Lake Winnebago ecosystem consists of Lake Winnebago, of course, and the upper river lakes of Lake Butamore, Lake Winnicani, and Lake Poygan. And those endless shores provide so many opportunities for family-friendly adventures. And right here in Oshkosh lies the perfect example, the Menominee Park and Zoo. This place is such a destination. A lot of times you just go to a park or you just go to a zoo and you don't fill an entire day. This place can fill an entire day. This zoo is really special. It's right in the middle of Menominee Park, which is right by Lake Winnebago. One thing that I think makes it really special is that it is a free zoo. Anybody and everybody can come and enjoy this place. Free 99, does it get any better than that? So one of the things that stands out to me is the beautiful backdrop of Lake Winnebago. And not only do you have the activity of coming to the zoo, you have all sorts of other activities. In this park specifically, we have an awesome playground right across from the zoo where you can see the view of the lake. We also have a beach, so that area, it's nice sand. You can bring the family, they can swim in the lake. The atmosphere is really cool because you feel like you're walking into a park and there just happens to be really awesome animals. Yes. Can you show me some of the animals? Yes, absolutely. So who do we have here? This is Kiana. She is our blue and gold macaw. She's pretty famous here at the zoo. She is She's a, a talker. She's a little ham. She's a little bit of a show off. She tells everybody goodbye as they walk past and she'll yell it out. She goes, goodbye. Is there a way we can get her to say goodbye? Probably not when she she's on She likes to do it on arm. her own terms. Yes, she definitely has a mind of her own. We're lucky to have her. Okay, so this is a skunk this that I can pet. This is a skunk, you sure can. Normally, <laughs> I would be freaked out, but look at that little face. Plot twist, turns out skunks are super friendly and adorable. I loved that little thing. Seriously, the little nose and the little tongue stopping. <laughs> Menominee Park and Zoo is a fantastic place to bring your family for a fun day full of activities. Of course, the park isn't the only place in town to take advantage of the ample water accessibility. Oshkosh is the perfect place to enjoy a stroll down the river walk. Not to mention a great place to dock your boat for a bite to eat and a little entertainment with some fantastic waterfront dining opportunities. But if your idea of relaxation requires a little more peace and quiet, then a stop at Terrell's Island could be just what you're after. Just west of Oshkosh, in between the town of Winnicani and the city of Omro, Terrell's Island is a sprawling wetland conservation project that offers a hiking trail unlike anything I've ever experienced before. Terrell's Island is an island created for recreation and wildlife preservation of the wetlands. So not only is this place a wetland conservatory, it's also an incredible place to spend time out in nature, just clear your mind, spend time with either friends and family, your furry friends, or even just be by yourself and have some peace and quiet. As an avid biker, I loved taking my bike out here and it was really a special atmosphere because you're biking through trees and then all of a sudden the trees just disappear and you're completely surrounded by water. It's so cool. I think it's different than other trails because you have water on both sides. It's not paved, so you have a little bit of nature yourself walking over things and seeing different things. You really never know what wildlife you might see next. 
There are a ton of pelicans, so many birds. The calm water makes it easy to see the fish. In general, there's a ton of wildlife. And it's really hard to describe, but this place is so calm and beautiful. And really, you're just gonna have to come out and see it for yourself. Plan your adventures in every corner of our state by streaming Discover Wisconsin anytime, anywhere.